Good morning. Welcome to our European Morning Call. Um, what have we have seen? Well, we've seen a big blowout in stocks um, over the last, well, this week's been very choppy and yesterday was rough again. That uh, All eyes are on the US inflation print and that came out pretty hot at 4.2%. The, the month on month core reading, which is what everyone was really focused on as a sign of just how quickly uh, things are moving in the real economy right now. Um, rose at 0.9%, which is the highest, the raciest clip uh, since 1982. So big, big moves in inflation. Question whether it's transitory, how long does it last? Is this just a fluky reading that pull is a pull forward of pent up demand? We don't know, but stocks have reacted uh, by selling. We've got the S&P breaking down there uh, around 2%. Um, I think the, the one that we want to be really looking at, um, uh, where are we? We get tech 100 that's the nasdaq 100 um it's really breaking down now um we can see uh, a move here um let's get rid of that it's no longer relevant um looking at these sort of march lows uh, as potentially a, a target if things start to you know if the dealer gamma gets to the point where uh, they are chasing this market and start selling to hedge uh, we could see we've got a direction we, the, the gamma has definitely moved in such a way that we we have a direction now again we didn't really have a direction here we've got a direction now um, and that's lower of course um 200 day moving average um we can pop that in moving average just type that in um settings uh, let's it yellow and let's put it as 200 uh, you can see here just coming in around that 12 400 12 500 level um before then that would offer a big uh, that would be a big test i think a big area of support potentially um but this march low uh, if you see an extension of the decline like we saw in september if it's a similar sort of move uh, and the price action really was quite similar uh, leading up to it, quite a rapid rally. Um, then what we're seeing now, um, we could see a sort of 15% decline. That that move in December was, I think, 15%, roughly top to bottom. There we are, 14%. Um, and so what we could see is um, another move in that of that magnitude uh, would take us down, uh, as you can see there. Uh, easily to those March lows. Um, elsewhere, uh, European markets are weaker this morning off the back of that FTSE trades, 6,900. Um, and then elsewhere, um, we've got, um, let's minimize that. Uh, as I say, gold, uh, 1820, just coming a little bit off, uh, off the back of these stronger US yields that we've got because of the, uh, because of the inflation data and then there's been a bunch of reports out uh, on the UK 100 we've got uh, updates from Rolls-Royce year-to-date trading in line making good progress uh, and BT um, full year earnings uh, slightly lower than expected outlook for two for next year to be broadly flat year on year also Burberry sales down nine percent but there was strong double digit strong double digit growth in um, China um, and where we are now on that one so that's a gap lower at the open there training uh, under two quid uh, uh, sorry under uh, 20 quid there so that's it for now uh, we'll be back later with more updates for you